and today's topic is type of intraocular lenses so let's start uh, the classification of intraocular lenses are various types so first classification is based on the method of fixation okay like where we fix anterior chamber intraocular lenses they are not commonly used because uh, with the complication which is known as bullous keratopathy the commonly used intraocular lens is known as Kelman multiflex supported lens which is supported on the angle of anterior chamber and how it is inserted it is inserted after doing an extra capsule or intra capsule cataract extraction and this is a diagram of Kelman multiflex intraocular lenses these are the hooks which are embedded in the angle of anterior chamber and second is iris supported lenses imagine iris now this intraocular lenses are supported on iris by three types like you can either suture these lenses there or you can either loop over there or there are certain claws like you can see here like certain claws and these clauses are fitted in the iris they are not used commonly uh, the name of this lens is seeing and worst iris claw lens here post operative complications are more now third is posterior chamber intraocular lenses the posterior chamber intraocular lenses they are entirely behind like these are the most commonly used post uh, intraocular lenses anterior chamber and iris supported lenses are not used nowadays but posterior chamber intraocular lenses are used these two lenses are used only when there is a contraindication to the posterior chamber intraocular lenses now for fitting the posterior chamber intraocular lenses there are various methods like first in capsular back fixation in the capsular back fixation it is the most ideal c loop or quadri loop remember the word c loop and quadri loop in posterior chamber intraocular lenses it is entirely behind and it is done in capsular back fixation through capsular, capsular back fixation there is a c loop done or quadri loop done what is c loop and quadri loop let me show you this is quadri loop like four four different arms or hooks what you can say and this is a c loop and then second is ciliary sulcus fixation absence of intact capsular bag when the capsular bag is not that much intent then we use the ciliary sulcus for the support of the capsule if the uh, capsular bag is intact then we will do the capsular bag fixation as we studied and then the scleral fixation so scleral fixation there is no capsular support like here there is no intact capsular bag but here there is no capsule so we can do either trans scleral suture fixation or trans scleral suture less fixation okay now this is retro iris lenses iris claw in the posterior chambers uh, remember the diagram just write the name of these things and write when they are used or when they are indicated like iris claw lenses when the capsule bag is not intact and scleral fixation when capsule bag, bag is not there and retro iris fixation iris claw lenses are used in the posterior chamber we studied uh, iris support intraocular lenses and there we used iris claw lenses so iris claw lenses when used in the posterior chamber is known as retro iris fixation okay now second classification is depending upon the material uh, it can be a rigid intraocular lenses foldable intraocular lenses rigid uh, is made up of material pmma that is polymethyl methacrylate okay and foldable intraocular lenses are insert, inserted through small incision after uh, fat emulsification the material of foldable intraocular lenses are silicon acrylic uh, and uh, hydrogel and even in acrylic it could be a hydrophobic or hydrophilic and implantation through intraocular injection okay now third uh, classification is based on the focusing ability it can be monofocal multifocal extended depth of focus and trifocal what are the basic difference monofocal have a single power multifocal can have separate optics to focus distance and near also known as simultaneous vision lenses like in a multifocal you can have uh, different optic or uh, different powers to uh, focus either uh, distance or either near vision they can be extended depth of focus uh, well, extended depth of focus means you will be uh, your lenses will have a range like from distant to near 
and it can uh, it has also ability to see in light and diminished light etc trifocal means you can see distance object a near object and in the intermediate one there is no need of wearing glasses after implantation of triocular trifocal lenses but you can have a uh, need of glasses after monofocal and multifocal lenses then uh, fourth classification is spherical and toric lenses spherical lenses are used in the spherical errors like hypermetropia myopia and in toric lenses are used for astigmatism there are also monoco monofocal and trifocal then afacic and facic lenses and special function lenses are there special function lenses are like an iridia intraocular lens an iridia intraocular lenses are generally used for the cosmetic purpose when there is uh, iris loss around the central optic part there is a black diaphragm then this is Im implanted miniature telescope which is used in ARMD age related macular dis uh, dystrophy or dysfunction and then piggy banks in rocker lenses to correct a residual refractive error after initial intraocular implantation so these are the classifications and the type of intraocular lenses just remember the names on the classification let's revise so first classification was based on where we put intraocular lenses like anterior chamber iris implanted posterior chamber and in posterior chamber there is capsular bag and then when capsular bag is not intact and when there is no capsular bag then on the basis of the material i can can be rigid and foldable on the basis of the focusing ability monofocal multifocal extended extended depth of focus and trifocal either spherical for toric lenses fake and fake lenses and special function lenses remember just name of special function lenses and i did a intraocular lens piggybacks intraocular lens and implanted miniature telescope okay thank you